It's a privilege to work for ministry to be in the family. This was a group of people within the hospital that saw a need and moved forward on their own because they knew it was the right thing to do. What I realized was that the more we got the patients involved, the better results we saw down the road. Patients are first, that's it. Uh, no more, no less. Never take a look at a circle and try to figure out where it begins or ends. It's an impossible task. The circle is continuous, ever flowing, absolute. When you think about it, isn't that reflective of what a promise should mean to all of us? An ongoing gift to others to honor our word. I'm Nick Dessen, and welcome to Ministry Healthcare's Circle of Excellence Awards for 2009. This year's winners come from a variety of backgrounds a lab manager who motivates her staff to help those struggling to get by. Ministry employees showing compassion with a national effort for a co-worker battling cancer. Pharmacists stepping out from behind the counter to advise patients on how to take their medicines. And a group of counselors called to heal a community where lives were lost and hearts were broken. These workers all exemplify how to live out the ministry promise of earning trust by working together as one ministry to keep patients first in everything we do. When was the last time you thought about being of greater service to someone else? It wasn't enough for Alicia Evanson, a lab manager at Eagle River Memorial Hospital, to simply volunteer at a food pantry because ministry encouraged it. She wanted to do more. Alicia took her ideas beyond where others have gone for her patients and her community, inspiring ministry co-workers to follow her lead. We have between actually 150 and 250 families that come when they need a surplus of food. This is supplementary food. It's not something that will feed them for the entire month. The food part of it is really a small part of the big equation. A small community takes care of its own, and that's what we're seeing. When our folks see that they're having a hard time paying bills, they're thinking about their neighbor who's even having a harder time. Every year around November, December, I require the employees that work for me and work for um, the Eagle River Laboratory to sit back and look at the need for the community to give back. Alicia asked what she could do as far as a need at the pantry. Every week I pick up leftover breads, but having fresh fruits and vegetables, we all know is, is a physical plus. And so I said, instead of putting money towards buying some of the non-perishables that are already being covered, let's do fresh produce. One of the grocery stores in town worked out a good deal on a variety of three different apples in a three pound bag that we are able to give to the people for the first time that I can remember in the 11 years that I've been here. When we went there the day for the distribution of the, the apples, the people were not expecting it. It wasn't something that was advertised. That was not our want. We didn't want this to be this um, wonderful thing where everybody knew what we were doing because that's what we were trying to get out of it. What we really wanted was to give back to these individuals who come in and they give us their time. And it was just fantastic. I was ill when I lived in Florida and uh, had a major operation. And uh, fruit and vegetables along with fiber, even artificial fiber. You know, I have to take, and this is invaluable to me. Stuff that, you know, you can't afford at the store. Fresh fruit is expensive. It was just constant flow. Um, probably in that couple hours, there was 30 to 40 families that had gone through. Every single person took apples and just, thank you, thank you, thank you, because they never get that. I found that when I went there, I really was enjoying the company of a lot of the people that I saw, and a lot of the people that I saw there were also patients that I saw throughout the facility here, and you really gain a rapport with these individuals. And as a laboratory, we are asked to do a little bit more, and so we have put together an idea to do some free cholesterol and glucose screening. The first time that I did it at the Vilas County Food Pantry, I was able to actually get 50% of the patrons that were there that day to utilize 
use that free service and helping them to understand that they may have to follow up with a physician or whatever they're doing is working for them. What Alicia has done, unlike anyone else, is she has really loved these people. When people see Alicia, they smile. They feel comfortable. Their guard is set down. Alicia's brought her kids. They have helped serve dinners. Um, it has been an opportunity to start a connection. My greatest satisfaction is, is going there, letting them see me out of context and, and out of the laboratory coat. And um, I bring my family there too, you know, and they see me as uh, not only as a a laboratory coordinator or somebody who works in the laboratory but as a mother and as somebody who is raising my children right to understand privilege and to understand needs versus wants. When people are going to work nine to five and then they check out, that's paying the bills. When people go to work nine to five with a strength that they have and then look for ways they can also use that same skill to help others, that's a lifestyle. Ministry has a lifestyle that is helping others and that's what community is about.